Hello, my name is Guðjón Sigurðsson. In this video I will describe how to set up a little application I made called QuickSync. I will show you how to use QuickSync to keep a folder on a home computer synchronized with a folder on a USB memory key. Let's open the Windows File Explorer uh, and find the folder on my home computer I want to keep synchronized. It's located on here on the C drive uh, called I am a source folder and you can see it contains subfolders and files. Okay, let's begin by inserting the USB memory key. It's in. Uh, let's close the window, open the QuickSync, uh, as you can see it's, uh, it's running here from the uh, program files uh, folder. We need to start by moving it to the root of the USB key. So we do it by selecting there and we select J, uh, that's where the USB key is. We press save and uh, it will be run, uh, uh, st uh, the program will quit and run from there. Now you can see it's running from the J location. Now when we change settings it will be saved, uh, the settings will be saved onto the USB key. Let's get started by selecting a new source uh, folder, uh, press the browse button here and let's browse to the source folder uh, we previously, uh, I previously showed you yeah, see I am a source folder here we will press save now when we sp when we specified the folder we want to keep synchronized uh, we need to decide whether to include subfolders or not in our synchronization we are going to keep the subfolders synchronized so let's check the include subfolders and press save When we selected a source folder, we need to select a destination folder uh, against that folder. Uh, the process is done the same. Uh, you select here the browse. Uh, yeah, there is one difference. We need to create the folder. We start by selecting the J drive, uh, which is the USB key. Uh, so we need to make a new uh, folder and then click on it and click again to get be able to rename it we will rename it uh, I am a destination folder uh, and press save uh, when that's done a destination folder can be of two types uh, a backup or merge Type backup is a one-way synchronization. That means that files located in the source folder that are newer or do not exist in the destination folder will be copied onto the destination folder. Type merge is a two-way synchronization. Merge will do the same as type backup but will also see to it that files located on the destination folder that are newer or do not exist in the source folder will be copied to the source folder. Now we're done setting up the two folders to be synchronized. We select the source folder on the desktop computer, the C drive, and the other on the USB memory stick or the J drive. Now let's see uh, how this all looks. Let's check uh, the file Windows Explorer. You can explore it from there the quickest way. Uh, here is the source folder uh, and its contents. It's, uh, it's the folder we are going to be uh, synchronizing from or and to, of course. 
outside the windows a little so you see what happens when we synchronize. I'm going to browse here to the destination folder. It is empty as you can see. Let's start the synchronization. We're ready. These are the synchronized file. That's the first subfolder, as you can see in the destination folder, that uh, has arrived to the destination folder. Uh, it's still synchronizing. Uh, it's done. The last folder has arrived to the destination folder. This is, of course, the number of the synchronized file. If you press again, there is nothing to synchronize. Well, let's test uh, the program a little bit by creating a new file here on the destination folder. I'll rename it uh, file.txt. Let's open the file. Uh, write here some text. I was created in a destination folder and save it. Uh, I'm going to show you the difference between merge and backup. Let's go to the configuration for the destination folder. Let's change the type to backup. Press save and uh, go to, uh, browse to the source folder. See what happens when we press sync. No file was copied to the source folder because the destination folder type was set to backup. Now let's change it to merge to see what happens when we press synchronize. No file, you see, let's press the button and there's a new file there. You see it? It was created in the destination folder. Now I'm gonna change the file uh, in the source folder and Let's see what happens when we print, press synchronize again. Let's view the file in the destination folder here on the J drive. Uh, as you can see it's unchanged and this is the old version. Let's press synchronize. One synchronization happened. We can look at the log here. As you can see one file was copied from the source to the destination. And this is the contents of the destination now. It's been updated as it should have been. Here we are changing the file in the destination folder. When we save it and press synchronize, the file in the source folder will be updated. That is, the file in the source folder will be replaced by this file, because this file has a newer modified time. Now let's see if the file in the source folder has been updated. Yes, it has. Everything is working as it should. Let's see what happens when we delete a file in the source folder. It's back because the type is set to merge, so the existing file in the destination folder was copied to the source folder. Now if you do the same thing in the destination folder, the same thing happens because of the merge type of the destination folder. When using QuickSync, it's not recommended using the application to synchronize operating system folders and or other critical folders for your operating system. I hope you can make use of QuickSync. My name is Guidon Severson. Thank you for listening.